What's up guys, it's Gary with Fresh from the Farm Fungi. I'm here in Denver, Colorado, and today I wanted to do a video that I've um, been waiting to do for a while. It kind of got pushed on the back burner, and um, I'm going to be unboxing a brand new Bubba's Barrel, the 55 gallon with the PID and the 120 volt option. So I decided to test out the smaller option um, I've heard a lot of good things about Bubba's Barrels, and I've seen Myers Mushrooms video um, describing the Bubba Barrel too. And I just want to let everyone know I have no affiliation with you know Myers Mushrooms or Bubba's Barrel. I just wanted to do an honest review. I'm really excited. I haven't opened it yet, so I just wanted to show everyone what you get for your Bubba's Barrels. So I paid about. 2600 for this um, and it took about eight weeks to get shipped so that was kind of a bummer then I got it and I had to do a lot of uh, renovations so I never got around to it until now so this is the big moment um, alright guys so first things first I just want to note that I got this um, really thick gauge steel it's for the uh, wheels, the casters, so it's a holder so I can, you know, move my barrel around to clean it. Um, I'm really excited about this, so it's probably about 10 pounds. And then it also comes with this nice stainless steel lid. It's all welded, so you don't have to do any of that. And I just wanted to note that there's three no four little holes for venting so this is not gonna be um, a pressurized sterilizer it's a long-term steam sterilizer so you know the cycles are about 14 to 16 hours I'm gonna try to do the minimum so I'll do some testing on that but all right so now it looks like we've got this box of supplies I ordered the sterilizer that comes with the PID which is designed to just set and forget but I'm not sure if you guys can see this box back here so this is the box on in the interior and if I flip it over you can see it's got the false bottom which is pretty thick So that's pretty nice. It seems like it'll hold up for a lot of weight. And then it's got a ring that's welded around the bottom, an in valve, and a drain valve. So already pre drilled holes. And overall, the barrel itself is not that heavy. maybe a hundred pounds alright so now I'm gonna open alright so this is the box of all the supplies that I got so some extra insulation this might just be for the shipping Alright, and then here is the PID, so it seems to be pre-wired to this heater. So this is going to heat up the water to create the steam. And then you can see it's already attached to this PID controller, so I'll just have to put this on the wall. and has an element on off switch a timer a power with a it looks like there's a key that can go with that and then it looks like you can also attach the same PID to the 240 volt option alright And then it 
comes with this. So this is actually the power and it looks like it's a converter to the 125. So it's actually already wired for the 240 which is really cool. And here is a braided steel 3 fourths inch hose. And then we've got our casters for um, the little dolly that I bought. So these are really nice heavy grade steel. One thing I notice is that, oh, never mind, they do come with a lock, so that's nice. You can lock it into place. And here's the manual. So it looks like there's a few different settings. How to connect it to your plumbing. And then a temperature. So, or a thermometer I mean. Thermometer goes up to 250, but I don't think we're going to be getting that, that hot with this one. And then this bag here. Which it comes with the float valve. Alright, so we got the float valve, which is stainless steel. Super cool. And then this is the hardware. We've got some threading seal, some PFT thread seal. So that's going to go on the metal to metal connection. It looks like an adapter for the hose. This is the valve for the drain. It's got a gasket. I believe this is where the, the element connects to the bottom of the barrel for the heat and then it looks like here's the probe for the PID so very cool thank you Bubba's Barrel and thank you Myers Mushrooms for sending us in the right direction um, I'm really excited I know Myers Mushrooms has a, a video on how to put this together so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that and give us a thumbs up if you like this video let us know in the comments below what you think about the Bubba's Barrels or if there's any other cool alternatives. Um, but prior to using these, I was doing 55 gallon drums with a propane heater in my backyard. You know, that caused a lot of issues, especially carrying the substrate around. So I really like that this can be implemented indoors. Um, I'm gonna be venting out the steam so it won't affect the humidity and um, other than that, I just use, you know, the Presto cookers and um, I have a small autoclave that can do five pound bags too. So um, I'm really excited to try this out and I'll, you know, keep everyone posted on performance and, you know, any issues with the Bubba's Barrels. But I think these are a really good value if you're getting, you know, into larger scale production. So check out their website, Bubba Barrel. Um, it's probably a pretty big lead time, but all right, guys, thanks for watching, and until next time, much love.